We all know that companies are influenced by other organizations or institutions. Institutional theory is built on that assumption and can be used to examine how companies respond to these external pressures from other organizations. One of the main concepts in institutional theory is that all companies become the same over time or adopt the same strategies, which is called isomorphism. You can see that, for instance, when in the automotive industry, companies adopt a Six Sigma concept or implement lean management, or that all of a sudden every company issues sustainability reports. This becoming the same or the adoption of same practices can be attributed in the literature to three isomorphic pressures. First, coercive isomorphism. That's for instance when a new law or regulation is adopted and companies have to follow it. Second, mimetic isomorphism. That's for instance a company that sees that a competitor's strategy works well and simply copies it for their own company. The last one is normative isomorphism. That means that companies become more professional and follow guidelines specific to an industry. Isomorphism is really one of the main concepts in the traditional view of institutional theory. And it can be summarized that it explains why companies follow the same strategies or adopt the same practices. However, what isomorphism cannot explain is that every company shaped these practices in a different way. And that's the major limitation of isomorphism. It is limited to explain the differences in organizational responses. But how institutional theory can help to explain the differences in organizational responses is a topic for another mini-lecture.